from the studio who finally buckled and released the Snyder Cut, but are holding firm with David Ayer fans. No, we are not going down this road again. I don't care what happened on a submarine. Wait, what happened on a submarine? Comes the film that only exists because James Gunn made one too many pedo tweets for Disney. And DC swooped in like, come on home, gunny boy. Let the jizz jokes fly. It's like angels are splooching all over for us. The Suicide Squad. What is this movie? Some kind of suicide squad? Yes, but also no. Get ready for the same basic premise, but a massively different direction. What the f Replacing figurative jokes with actual jokes, endless character introductions with no character introductions, and changing the title from Suicide Squad to The Suicide Squad. See, there's a little the on the poster, so everyone knows it's a new movie with a bunch of the same characters. Oh <laughs> boy, no wonder this bombed. Welcome back, actors eager to watch the stank off their last outing as these characters, like Viola Davis, bringing way too much talent and pedigree to a film with Pete Davidson in it. Okay. Joel Kinnaman, who somehow makes you care about Rick Flagg to the point where his death hits the hardest? I blame you, Katana. You were supposed to have his back. And of course, Margot Robbie, in her third appearance as Harley Quinn, and third wildly different version of the character, going from stripper side piece to self-actualized badass to a twee romantic with a head full of flowers and birds, who still manages to steal the film in a sequence full of torture, dead goons, and close-up foot stuff. Or as Tarantino calls it, Ahiga! Hamina, hamina, hamina. But forget the OG squad. Not that they ever can. There's a whole new aside squad in town, featuring Idris Elba, as Will Smith said no to the sequel, I mean Bloodsport. This other sharpshooter on a mission to save his daughter will have audiences everywhere wondering if there's a draft of the script that still has Deadshot's name on it. John Cena's Peacemaker, the kind of guy Dwight Schrute imagines himself to be. He does exactly what I do, but better. I am better than you have ever been or ever will be. Then there's Polka Dot Man, a guy cursed with exploding polka dots on the outside and the mental state of your typical incel on the inside. Ratcatcher 2, who gets dismissed as a lazy millennial. Millennials. But I'm pretty sure she just has mono. We're tired, Colonel. We need a rest. <laughs> A disgusting weasel you wouldn't let near your children. No, the other one. Some glorified cameos to give James Gunn's buddies a nice payday. And the cutest, actually threatening animal sidekick since the last three cute but actually threatening animal sidekicks. Please, please, please give us behind the scenes of Stallone's VO sessions for this. I need it. New dumb friends. <laughs> Follow this motley crew of outcasts as they do an adorkable version of the Bay of Pigs, featuring an extended massacre of freedom fighters play for laughs. <laughs> that innocent man had his wiener out. Because when the USA has to do a good old-fashioned South American coup, Amanda Waller won't hesitate to build a team with one crucial thing in common. Traumatic parent stuff. My father's burdens. Him too heavy to carry. My old man, one day he just locked me in a crate for 24 hours and it was full of starving rats. His father was a soldier who trained his son how to kill from the moment he was born. My mother was a scientist at Star Labs and she was obsessed with turning me and my brothers and sisters into superheroes. She infected me. And we don't really know what's up with Harley Quinn's dad, but come on, it's nothing good, right? I think you have a serious case of daddy issues. You all do. Even the Guardians all do. James Gunn hates dads. When Thanos took my home world, he killed my parents in front of me. Every time my sister prevailed, my father would replace a piece of me with machinery. Just like my own damn parents who sold me, the old little baby into slavery. <laughs> That's my freaking father! And apparently birds too. So strap in for a chaotic good time with a little bit of everything. Hilarious violence. <laughs> Bims. Dicks. A Gen Xer's greatest hits mixtape. Chapter headings that make you say, ooh. Disgusting animals that make you say, oh. And a finale where rats eat a giant eyeball that doesn't make you say, Wee! 
Come on, people, see this movie. Why couldn't they have just called it Suicide Squad? We're sorry, and we promise we did better this time. Starring. Well, 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 if it isn't Rickman, the guy who can flag anything, I'm going to become the poker. Will Smith. Why are you showing a blank screen? There's nothing. Oh, I get it. Rocky Shark. Do, 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 do. Come on, everybody. Ratatouche. Color me bad. The dick of it. A Starro is born. Saturday Night Dies. I'm Mary Pop. And the air cut. Who are you going to show that to? Goddamn people deserve to know. I'm gonna need that drive, Colonel. No one is saying what they did was right. That information gets out, it causes an international incident. Suicide Squad. We're sorry, and we promise we did better this time. It takes everyone way too long to figure out the anti starro strategy is just cover your face. Feels like that would be kind of your first reflex if a big starfish was flying straight at it, right? No?